our strategy is to build the most attractive and progressive cars in every segment. And this was also our challenge on the Urbosphere. I think the result is quite stunning now. It will be very exciting to see how this car is received from the public. We were able to create a quite sleek profile for this car, which is typical Audi. And then, of course, we did uh, lots of elements, uh, which also are clearly Audi and which emphasize uh, these proportions. For example, we have this aluminium bar, this aluminium application on top of the gr a glass house, which runs into the spoiler. It makes the car even more sleek and visually lower than it physically is. We have huge wheels, 24-inch wheels, a long wheelbase, a short overhang on the front, a long one on the, on the rear, and um, then of course um, some, some other details, for example the color and trim. The, the first sketches already had this uh, color and trim with this two-tone paint, and uh, this was highly liked, and so we just put it into the show car. This was one design uh, element. Another one was, for example, the front end. Uh, the, the customers uh, asked for a face which, which is um, self-confident but non-aggressive. And uh, I think we, we achieved it because uh, the lights are quite high and the look is quite self-confident. Of course, we, we have our single frame in a new interpretation. So I think um, we did a face which perfectly fits to the requirements. Let's have a look at the interior of the Urban Sphere. Very special of the interior of the Urban Sphere concept is that we designed this car consequent from inside to outside. My highlight of the Urban Sphere concept is seating in the rear, the comfort and the flexibility. Special is in the rear seats because you have uh, eye tracking modus where you can bring different programs on the functional screen on the rear of the seat. Also comfortable is the concierge. The concierge is a very interesting element for the customer. You can adjust this and we integrate it with the system of Audi. It was clearly designed for the Chinese market in a collaboration with potential customers. And this was a quite interesting process for us, something very new. And I think also the, um, the design now of the car is quite striking. show cars has been designed to visualize and to demonstrate the, the potential and the opportunities of the technology automated driving. But each show car has a different focus. The Audi Skysphere is a two-seater and is designed and engineered for grand touring. So this car can transform in only a few seconds from an autonomous lounge, so a huge interior space without a steering wheel, into only a few seconds into a sports car. The Audi Grand Sphere is all about first class traveling with a focus on the first row, not the second row. And the Audi Urban Sphere is designed for an urban environment. It's a six seater with a focus on the second row. The three show cars are representing perfection, the next level of our design language. That means our design language is becoming very reduced with, with floating lines, but on the other hand, very muscular, because we want to visualize always quattro. Talking about interior, the three show cars are representing in perfection and demonstrating in perfection how the interior will change in an Audi in the future. The interior is becoming next to your working and living space, a kind of a third space. The idea behind these three show cars are that we want to visualize the potential of the progressive technology automated driving level 4. That means you can drive 
these showcasts by yourself or the three cars can transform only in a few seconds into an automated driving lounge. And we want to visualize all the opportunities around this technology.